You know, I don't know how you measure a quantifiable result about a kid's resiliency or their tenacity or their ability to make eye contact. I, I don't know how to measure that yet. We've talked about it for a lot of years. My name is Laura McDonald. I am the kind of director, um, volunteer for Start the Cycle, and I've been with them for all six years. The fall of 2012, we started with a concept. Um, two of my friends, John Olasnovich and um, Kurt Hewitt, were mountain bikers who were riding together on a regular basis. John is a child psychologist, and he was seeing a lot of these kids as patients, and his wife worked for juvenile probation court at the time. And Kurt was on the board for the North Star Academy in Marquette that serves a lot of our um, alternative youth in Marquette. So the two of them as mountain bikers had always had this idea of um, what would it look like if we got kids on bikes and how could we go about doing that. So they started working with Juvenile Probation Court through Margaret saying, you know, what if we took these kids who are on probation or are on um, you know, involved with the court system and we were able to ride bikes with them and give them something better to do. It's really evolved over the last six years. So it started out as juvenile probation kids, but we've also realized that some kids maybe just have anxiety and they need an outlet or um, counselors would say this kid could really benefit from it. And so really at first kids were assigned to our program as punishment, which was kind of ironic because, you know, it ended up that we all fell in love and it wasn't much punishment at all. It'd be hard to do it. It'd be hard to do it, but there are trailers that you can do. My name is Eric Carlson. I'm here with Quick Stop Bike Shop. Um, we work with Start Cycle, or Start Cycle works with us. So in the beginning of the season, we do a fitting with all the kids. Um, so they get to get on a bike and see what size it is. We try on our shorts and we try on gloves and helmets. We build all the bikes up and get all the shorts ordered. Um, we work with some of our good vendors that help us. Uh, um, so Trek and Fox Racing and uh, Decline, they all do a really great job. Uh, bike maintenance with the kids, we usually do two to three sessions with them. Um, and we cover really the, the basic things that they need to be able to um, do with their bikes to get them out of the woods um, in case they have a mechanical. So we cover um, you know, how to break a chain and replace a chain, quick links, um, how to adjust the railers a little bit. Um, we don't get too much into the real technical side of things. Um, and then we cover flat changes. So everybody learns how to change a flat, take the rear wheel out. So um, supplying those kids with the knowledge to be able to fix that and then continue to ride and get home um, is pretty key. It's really fun because these kids are, they're just having a blast. It's it's so fun to go ride with these kids and uh, they're just, it's like their, their night of fun. They go out and they ride their bikes and some of them are going fast and some of them are just pedaling around having a good time. Your arms go! Everybody reaching, 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 pause, 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 pause. Reaching, <laughs> go! Okay, we got it, we got it, we got it. That's what we do when we jump. It's going to look like this. My name is Connor Ryan. This is my first year. Okay. And I started out as the head of strength and conditioning. So I got the kids in the, in the preseason. We went over workouts. We went over strategizing how to get ready for this and how to get ready for race season. And from there, it just kind of was a domino effect. And, and once the ball got rolling with these kids, it was something really special. And, 
and it was something that you could make a difference every time you came in and and you could watch them light up you could watch them smile and that's when I decided I'm gonna bike with who's these kids every week and I did that all summer who's ready to roll let's do this next week Eric has told us we will have bikes to ride outside and we don't know if we'll have trail time yet because we depends on how much the snow melts so I want all of us to thank Connor thank you, for Quick Stop Bike Shop came in to us and said, we put out about $3,000 in repairs. What if we did $7,000 for a new fleet through Trek? So we bought the Trek bikes, which really standardized the program. All the chains are the same size. All the, you know, anything that would break, we all know the derailleur is going to go. You're going to get a flat tire. All the tubes are the same size. And so then we could really, we're out on the trail, you need a tube, I have one in my hand, in my pack. You need this tool, I have a chain link. You have, And it standardized the program that everybody on the team has everything that anybody on the team is going to need. Um, at first we weren't our own nonprofit, so we had the Y as our fiduciary, the YMCA of Market County. And that worked out for a while. Um, but we realized we really wanted the full control of when we rode, what we were doing, how we did it, and that's where the trailer came along. Uh, I'm Sarah Carlson and I um, am the mentor coordinator. Um, so I'm a mountain biker. I've been mountain biking for 12 years probably and I'm also a social worker so and I work with kids and I love working with kids and so I think it's always in the back of my mind been like oh I hope there's a program where I can coordinate kids and bikes together and so um, ran into this when I moved back from Marquette. Somebody told me about it and hooked me up with Laura McDonald. Um, so I mentored for two years as just a mentor. I mean, that's a really thing. Marquette is um, a really awesome community of mountain bikers. It's very unique. I've lived in several other kind of mountain bike hubs in the United States, and I've never seen a community of riders like this. I mean, everybody's friends and gets along, and there's not any weird competition. So immersing these kids in that community has been a very, it's been a privilege to see. It's really cool. Yeah, so one of the biggest things that I see happening and is totally one of our philosophies of our program, one of the goals of our program is building resiliency. Um, so there's a lot of research out there, and I know this from my work, that kids having like one solid person in their life can be a really major protective factor if everything else is going wrong but they have a connection with um, a teacher or a mentor or some other adult um, that it really prevents things from going all the way south and so that's one of the cool things that I've seen is these connections building between kids and adults but also the connections building between 
all the participants. So we see these amazing friendships bloom as the year goes on. All of our mentors are volunteer. Um, everyone on our board is volunteer. Um, so all of the funds that we um, raise through fundraising and donations, everything just goes to running the program. Yeah, it's and we have amazing volunteers. We have amazing mentors. We have amazing coordinators for food and other stuff. It's really awesome. My name is Curtis Hewitt and currently I'm a mentor with the Start the Cycle program. I've been involved on and off since the beginning. Myself and John Olsonovich and Laura McDonald uh, decided it would be neat to uh, start a program for at-risk youth. And so what happens is the program allows them to build up their self-confidence. And uh, really, you know, you can see a big turnaround even in one year and uh, they're able to go out and accomplish other things because you know they didn't think they were capable of maybe doing a water shore mountain bike race and once they realize they can do something like that um, you know that self-actualization helps them realize that hey I can go out and do anything. I think how the community has embraced the program has given me a lot of satisfaction and pride in our community and of course it always feels really good to give back to the community. Um, it feels good. It feels good to be out in Mother Nature and hanging out with kids and great people. I mean, uh, can't get any better than that. tricky part here, you just gotta pop your tire up. Lift your tire up, lift your tire up. And pop it. Yep. Pop it. <laughs> the rest of it's fun. You gotta get a little speed on here. Make sure nobody's parked down here. Woo! Look ahead, look ahead, look way up the trail. There you go, way up the trail. Nice job, good job.
We've always been friends with NT or with Ramba up here. Um, Danny Hill, who's just the trail god, um, has always been with us. Danny and I met when we were little kids, and, and I've always supported what he's doing. He's always supported what we've done, and he was there right from the beginning mentoring with us. NTN got on board right away with Orta Shore. They, they were like, what? You have this team of kids. And this year, for the first time, we're announcing that we're um, Orta Shore ambassadors. So the story kind of goes that last year, um, Scott Tuma, who's the race director, got a flat tire out on the trail, and three Start the Cycle kids, not all at once, stopped, not knowing who Scott was, and said, what do you need? How can I help you? So we've developed that program. The kids all are maintenance trained. They all just went through a basic first aid. So if they come along someone, they'll be able to say, how hurt is this person? They'll be able to assess. And, and we have mandatory reporting. So now you saw someone down. When you get to the next aid station or the next person, you have to tell them what you saw. And it's mandatory, everybody stop. Somebody's down, you stop. We, we are racing the order shore, but more than that, we're showing the community what we're all about because we don't leave anyone behind when we ride. I'm the problem. Got everything, your water's full. Okay. Tire pressure. Check your chain. This is our first yeah. year. <laughs> we, 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 we rode mountain bikes before and been on trails and stuff, but this is our first time actually in a whole group. It's yeah. amazing. <laughs> I love honestly it. love the people who are riding with us and I think it's a great experience. Awesome. Learned so many things, learning from the mentors, other people who did it for longer. I think the mentors are doing a great job of teaching us how to do, be a better rider. Well, I'm glad that we have mentors. Mentors help out so much. <laughs> well, this is Peter. Yeah. And 
we actually did the polar roll together during in this winter. And he was such a help. Like I I never thought I was gonna get it done. I never thought I was gonna get to the finish line. And we did. That's awesome. <laughs> the kids that have come back though, once they hit eighteen, now we're mentor training them. So they're teaching maintenance class and they're teaching you know how to change a tube and they're out leading the rides and um, it's it has given them a vested interest in a program that's now becoming theirs so I've been in the program for six years since I've been in the program for so long I thought it would just be a nice way to give back since the mentors that are still in it when I was younger they just spent so much of their time helping me to get to where I am so in the beginning we wanted to kind of say when are we done like well, how do you know when you're done biking with kids and so we decided if they could ride the order shore whether it was the 10 mile or the 28 mile um, when they were finished they could keep all of the equipment so we provided the bike the helmet the hydration pack the practice jerseys race jerseys padded pants gloves and um, we said, you know, the, the prize at the end is you're going to get this really cool bike. We are now within one minute of the start of the uh, 2019th annual Order Shark Mountain Bike Epic. So I isn't even that. Alright, well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know they don't. We got that one. Yeah, it's out. Oh, the one with the three It's green, the green truck right here. And there might even be two of them. Alrighty guys, cruise on over here. We're gonna do a practice lap. <laughs> of Team Start the Cycle. Are you a pink 
Patrick Milwaukee. Uh, thank you for coming. Kevin Donahue's Kara Bretzlav, Julie Thompson. Friends of Marquette, Max Barrett of uh, Marquette. Uh -huh. I was young, I always thought I'd have 12 kids, and I now have 120. Yeah, every time I see them, it's Laura, you know, and hugs and, um, and mentors. I mean, I just feel like a lot of these mentors are family. You know, we've been through a lot together. It hasn't been easy. You know, we're all in this community together and we're all doing the same thing. We're all helping kids. Okay, now we gotta do a goofy one. <laughs> Are you ready? 